Hello, everybody. We're back here at Beamer and Sun Garage after a hot Sunday. Boy, it was hot today. It was a smoking one today. We uh, we was down there at uh, Kellogg Avenue with a car that we got from uh, our friend, good friend Dave Eads. And uh, we had to deliver it as a charity tow. And uh, it's good to do charity tows. We did a charity tow, and uh, huh, wouldn't you know it? Look at the good luck we got. On our way back, uh, we ran across a friend, and they said, hey, you want a free car? So we got a Nissan that we towed back from the tow that we did for free. Our, uh, you know, basically uh, our charity that we did brought us uh, a car. It's a Nissan. Uh, it's got aluminum wheels on it. No, it's not. Those are hubcaps. It's got steel wheels on it, nice tires, 15-inch tires. Interior is not too bad looking. And I believe it's a Nissan. Look at that. It's got a, uh, what is that, a Bengals? Yeah, it's Bengals. Bengals right in there. Hey, that's a, that a spare tire cover? Yeah. Hey, cool. we got a spare tire cover for our MOC. Yeah, we're going to put that on the MOC. <coughs> I know right where that's going to go. We got a battery cover for our battery that uh, powers it for the uh, tow truck. It's a battery box, and we really like this battery box. As you can see, you can adjust it up right, set it up just right, and the lid goes on. And it's got a little lock right there, so if it rains or you know covers it, keeps it from the elements from getting a hold of it and, and destroying it. And there you go. Battery enclosed in a box. We love it. But getting back to our free car here. It's a nice car. We used a board on it. You can see the board down there. A 4x4 board. And it saved the uh, the, the car from damaging it. And uh, we love the little car. It's a free car. Uh, we're going to use it in an ep uh, upcoming episode. It's an Altima. Nissan Altima. Uh, G-E-X. Whatever that means, <laughs> I don't know. But we've got a Nissan Altima freebie four door, and we just love this little car. You know, it needs washed, it is clean, it's supposed to run and drive, it needs a battery. We haven't done a lot to it yet, we just got it. We're gonna see if we can get the hood popped on it. Man, it's popped. I don't know if it's gonna. Oh, there's the uh, there's the stereo, and it's got a real nice stereo in it. Looks like an AM, FM, CD player. There's the review mirror. It's got some kind of American flag on it for a air freshener. But yeah, it's pretty clean. Not a bad little car. Door handles seem to work, yeah. All door handles work. Neat little car. I mean, we kind of like the little car. I don't know if the hood opens. The last one I got was a Toyota. The hood didn't open on it. So we're going to have to try to fight this hood open. Yeah, that's what it is. The hood release is busted. So there, there you go. The battery probably went dead. And uh, there's no uh, no way to get to the battery. So we'll have to uh, pull the grill out of it, uh, pop the uh, release, and then uh, put a battery in it. And we'll have this on an up-and-coming up and coming episode of uh, Beamer & Son Garage. It's uh, Beamer & Son's new Nissan uh that we're going to be uh, playing with Ultima. I've always wanted an Ultima, uh, Ultima uh, Nissan. I always wanted one. Ultima. I always wanted one, and I got one. It's weird. I didn't want a Toyota, but I always wanted one of these Nissans. I always wanted one, and I got one today for free, uh, helping a friend. So it goes to show you, you do good deeds for people, and it comes back. You know, it looks like it's had some paint work done on this quarter panel, or something's been done to that quarter panel. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it's uh, no damage any. Something's happened to that quarter panel, but my son won't care. This is going to be my son's car. He's going to drive this back and forth to uh, save gas. This is going to be his little gas economy car. I got it for him. For, you know, I got it for free. I got the Toyota, and I use it. Hopefully, the air conditioning will work. If not, I might have to charge the, air, you know, the AC on it, so he'll have him a little four-cylinder four-door beater we love these four-door cars you know you can you know put your girlfriend you can put your friends you can put your family your kids 
four doors are great. I don't care what anybody says about four door cars. They're fantastic. So yeah, that's a win for us. And uh, this is even a double win because I've been wanting a, a cover for my motor home, which is actually we call it the MOC around here. I've been wanting a cover. And to get one that's got a Bengals Tiger on it is just a godsend. It's just a godsend. Now we moved some stuff out of the front field. You can see up there, there's the uh, cream color Riviera. We, I took it out of the field yesterday in the heat yesterday. There's my Bonneville. And you can see, boom, there's two cars missing. The one car was smaller in the back. You can see the, the patch of grass that these two cars basically killed sitting there. That's where the rib was sitting at. This big, pat, big, huge patch of dead grass. Up here, there's a smaller patch here. And that car, you can see the holes. That it, it sat here for so long, the holes are dug. And there's the rib. That's a 73 rib. We got three of these cars. They all got the uh, 455 big block uh, Buick motors, four barrel, 400 turbos. We got three of them. We got two more of these Bonnevilles. All at the same time. But the little small patch here... That's where the Mustang was. That's that blue 65 Mustang you've seen me put, uh, well, we put a quarter panel on it and new trunk and new frame rails and new floor pans, new seat risers. That's where it sat at. But we've moved it now. The rib, I showed you where the rib went. And we moved the Mustang out. And the reason we did, uh, we're putting the motor in it. The engine that's in it, it's got a rod knocking. I got it from my good friend Joe Rumping. And he hurt the motor, uh, doing burnouts in it and donuts. He hurt the motor, so we ended up buying the car back. My son bought the car back. And then I found a friend of mine that had a motor, a good 289 motor. That's what's in the car. So we bought a motor for it. There's a rollback moved over there with a the Barracuda on it. There's my little car. That was my free car. And you just saw my son's new free car. So it's just a blessing that we got him a free car and... You know, I got me a free car, now I got him a free car. And he's just going to be so happy when he sees this new car I got for him. And, of course, there's a the duster. And the Charger. And the, and the most famous car here, the Omega. There's the Omega. She's sitting there taking a break. She's done good service for us. But up on the hill, I brought the Mustang up around here because I'm going to bring the Mustang down over this hillside. And this big tree right there. Have you ever heard of shade tree mechanic? Well, there's my shade tree. I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to park it probably right in here. And this is about where the uh, Oldsmobile was when I wrecked it. I brought it over here. And there's the chain you can see. And this is where I pulled the front of that Oldsmobile Omega out. We fixed it right here. And then, of course, I took it around and welded it up. But I'm going to bring the Mustang that's up over here. There's the 65. Sweet 65. We're going to bring that Mustang up and we're going to put it under this shade tree and we're going to work on it we're going to pull that engine that's in there out and uh, you can see the cone on there because that's what that home means this caution area it's going to be a work area we're going to pull that engine up out of that mustang and we're going to put the uh, 289 that we bought from a friend of mine in it there's my trailer this is what i was talking about the uh, quad how universal the quad is and my trailer's got a bunch of junk in it that we're going to be scrapping and getting rid of and it's not full yet, but it's it's getting there. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna scrap most of that. And of course, you can see what kind of job this uh, ATV does for us. This Honda Rancher is just a workhorse around here. We love it. We don't know what we do without this little quad. This thing is just phenomenal. And there's my buddy Rondo's car. Yeah, I wish he'd get down here when it's. I guess we'll have to wait till the heat just kind of dissipates because I got the Mustang now. I'll be working on it now. And I got this one to work on too. I got that one to work on too. That one don't need any work. Fifth Avenue needs an engine. I got a 383 we're going to put down in that in that Fifth Avenue. It's got a 318 in it now. I'm taking a 318 out. And I'm going to put it in another Challenger I got. And I'm going to put a 383 down in that car. That belonged to my mother. And she passed away, so I'm going to fix this car up, and we're going to have some fun. Me and my son are going to have fun with Mom's old car, which was his grandmother. Uh, my four-wheel drive up there needs uh, man, needs carburetor fixed on it, and a couple of little things, steering and some brake work, and it needs some tires. And we're going to get that going, my four-wheel drive. 
that's another one of my you know babies that I got around here. Well, it looks like the back of our MOC already has a cover on it. Yeah, it already has a cover. I didn't realize it had a cover. I found this cover, and I wanted to put this on. It doesn't look like it's going to quite go today, because it looks like there's some issues with it. But yeah, that would be another day. That has to be another day we try to put, put this on the... I want to put that on the back because I'm a big Bengals fan. I'm a big Reds fan, as you can tell with my Reds hat. I love the Cincinnati Reds and the Bengals. Those are my favorite two teams. Of course, you know, I'm from Cincinnati. And, of course, there's the Aaron's factor. Now, there's a Mustang that was in the garage that was covered in dirt. Uh, and the, the ATV up on the hill, the racing blaster was uh, being blocked in by it but we pulled the blaster out and there's this mustang now you can see the mustang better and you can see how dust covered it is it's it's a barn pine this is my barn but yeah i found this car in my barn i don't know where it came from yeah i do i bought this car uh this thing has uh, 77 000 original miles it belonged to a little old lady, a friend of mine's, uh, actually a friend of mine's grandmother owned this car. So it belonged to a grandmother. She only drove it 77,000 miles. She passed away. My friend got it. He couldn't do nothing with it. He couldn't fix it. It needed a lot of work, brake work and uh, suspension work. And so my son bought it. Uh, he gave the car to me now. So it's my Mustang. He's got the blue one that I just showed you up on the hill. This is my 65 Mustang six-cylinder automatic. So we love the little car, and yeah, we're going to have some fun. And the barn, of course, is kind of dark in there this time of night. But yeah, there's that uh, there's that roll cage go-kart in there. There's the other quad. Of course, Spike's still right here. Spike's still doing his job. Huh, baby? Yeah, Spike's still, he's, he's opened the garage up now, or the barn. And you can see his dog poo's in here now. His water's over there. And we're going to give him a little longer chain. And so probably that, we're going to back that go-kart that cart that he's chained to up a little bit and give him maybe move that maybe just t twitch him over to that one and give him a longer chain so he can still guard the back of the garage right here because that's his job he's a guard dog you know he guards well he guards the property and you can see uh, he just comes run over he just loves me that's my baby right there yeah, you mess with me and you know you're gonna have to deal with him and then of course there's there's bear 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 Nah, he's too busy. He usually howls when I whistle. And I leave, he'll cry for him if he's not eating. He's eating right now, so he probably won't cry right now. Good dog. There's a convertible. That's the uh, that's the one that went topless. So that's what it looks like with, the, with their top up. We have a hillbilly uh, tarp that we have rigged around the top. And so, in bad weather, this is how we drive it. You know, rain or whatever, you get caught out in the rain. This is a sunny day car, of course, you know, it's convertible. You only take it down on sunny days. But if it would rain, the top on it is shot. He's bought a new top. We haven't installed it yet. So we put a hillbilly top on it right now. It's just a gray tarp that's uh, wrapped and tucked and, you know, it does. It, it works. You know, it does a job. It keeps you from, you know, getting wet. It keeps the interior upholstery, you know, dry. And uh, we love the convertible. So anyways, that's what we got going on here. Got another free car. Went and did a charity tow. Uh, made very little on a tow. But, you know, the time you put gas in it, you know. Here's Sam. Of course, she was over here. She's eating some late night dinner. I feed these animals in the morning. And then when it cools off, I feed them again. So if they're still hungry, you know, at night. Or they didn't eat during the day or whatever. Then they'll chow at night. But... You know, when I come out here at night, the food bowls are empty. <laughs> the food bowls are empty. The water bowls are, you know, down. So I top off their water bowls. Looks like she needs some more water in that bowl. Yeah, she's always, she this, this animal drinks more water than any of them. She's got two water bowls, and they're only half full, and I like to keep them full. So I'm going to come out with some water. Sheba, and there's the, there's the famous spot kitten. She walks the rails. She's a, she's a creature around here as a rail kitten. That we call her. She will. She'll walk the rail for you. Any, even a little small rail right there. She can walk that rail. 
And there's crazy. That was crazy to just jump up on that tire there. That's uh, the one famous cat that's uh, actually Spot's uh, sister, a uh, little. That's a little crazy. There she is. There's a little crazy. You guys can see that right there, yeah. She's a little crazy. She'll let me pet her once in a while, but if I go towards her right now, she'll run. So we're going to leave her be. But there's my truck. That's my F-350 uh, uh, one-ton tow truck. And I was talking about Dave E's. And his truck was an F-450 Super Duty. Mine's a 350 Super Duty XL. But Dave's truck was bigger, you know, uh, more heavy duty with that F-450 Super Duty. His truck would outdo my truck, no doubt about it. But my truck's a close close second. He had a five-speed transmission. Mine's just a auto, or excuse me, mine is a, a four-speed transmission. So he could do better on the highway. He could get there quicker. But my truck still can do the job. Uh, we got to put a flywheel in the truck. The flywheel went out of it, so we're in the process of uh, figuring out in a budget and then doing fight fitting and scheduling it and changing the, uh, you know, changing the flywheel in the in the truck. We just love this truck, the twin winches. This truck puts the white truck to shame. You know, it's got the wheel lift down there. You know, I love the wheel lift. It's got the wheel lift sling. It's got the twin winch uh, twin winch. Uh, boom on it it's got two separate uh, winches you know winch cables winches and they're all hydraulically operated so it's a beast i mean compared to the white truck i love the white truck but the white truck cannot compare now the rollback now that's a whole different ball game the rollback is around here is is the bad boy besides the, the recovery truck the black ford over there that's our recovery truck but the, the rollback now it can do things that the black truck can't do it can do things that the white truck can't do but the rollback is a very, very good piece of machinery around here that really comes in handy. I'm going to be using it again here real soon with another car that I'm going to have to go out and tow. And you'll see that on another episode of Beamer and Sun Garage. And we're going to sign off here. But we want to ask you again, please like our videos. Please leave a comment. Tell us what you think. And we need subscribers, so hit that subscribe button. We gotta have you. We, you know, we gotta have a subscribers. We're up to 80 now, people. So we're getting, we're getting, you know, our, our, our goal's closer. You know, coming, it's coming closer and closer. But we still need more subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to Beamer and Son Garage, consider us. Please, please subscribe to us. We need subscribers to continue our channel. Uh, we don't want to quit right now. We want to continue for many years to come. Uh, so we, uh, we're a force to be reckoned with here. We're, you know, there's a big white moon up there. Beautiful moon up there. We want to continue here, uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, but we need subscribers to be able to continue. So it's up to you people. Do you still want to see Beamer and Sun Garage? If you do, hit the subscribe button. Ask your friends. Tell your friends, your family, your wife, you know, get people to subscribe to our channel so we can keep this going. Uh, we can't continue without subscribers. We're, we're really nothing without you people, you know. So we we got to have subscribers. Subscribe to us, and we'll see you next time at Beamer and Sun Garage.